welcome this is the energy vibration um reading for you um birthday people i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the wonderful wonderful positive alignment of energies universal angels and guides and calling in to bless each and every person who is having birthdays please um um, protect and guide these people as they're on their new zodiac energy for the time of their birthdays ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for being here thank you for the wonderful positive alignment from energies i'm wishing you a very 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 prosperous um birthday time um, my voice is still not good but i know you guys are going to be asking for your reading so I don't know if I'll be able to do live because of my voice, but we will see, okay? I want to say to each and every person out there, no matter what is happening in your life, enjoy this Christmas because um, it's um, a Christmas that is going to play a significant role in your life, okay? And this is the year energy vibration for you guys so wonderful um thank you also for your support likes and share remember to go subscribe on youtube because what that does for you is that you have three different subscription and with that three different subscription what happened is that you can use the subscription and um um you will be able to connect with me on my channel and you will receive a lot of perks okay like when i'm online you will definitely have a lot of perks especially when i am online okay so this is going to be wonderful and positive so let's look at your your year to um and remember you're starting your new year this is your birthday so you're starting your new year so the people who were born on the 2nd of december you have the energy of the empress that is going to be protecting you so um, right after your birthday you're going to be realizing that things you were hoping and wishing for in the materialistic world it's going to come in some of you could be getting pregnant in this year if you are a lady you could be getting pregnant in this year so be aware of this so if you were born on the 2nd of December be aware of this you're actually ophiosis okay so this is really um you guys are Ophiosus and Sagittarians, okay? So what we're seeing here is that definitely new babies, new situation is going to be coming in your life. For the people who were born on the 3rd of December, it's going to be a year of uh, intuition, a year of connecting with the unseen world, a year of your spirit guides, and everyone is coming in to make sure that you are financial stable. I am seeing that some of you could be meeting your twin flame, my soulmate. I'm seeing Elin coming through with all relationship, all passion. I'm seeing this coming through. Then we see a new start for the people who were born on the 4th of December. You're definitely going on a new start. It could be creative, um, and a creative endeavor. It could be career. It could be um, relocation. It could be, um, you know, going with the flow and this is going to be very very good because what we're seeing here is that there's an healing um by leaving something behind and deciding to choose for yourself i'm seeing a healing coming in now as we look at this three oak which is going to affect you is that some issues um unseen issues are going to be ill like things that was happening behind the scene without you even knowing is going to be ill okay so this is wonderful if you have any legal issues or conflicts or that sort of a thing it's okay it's definitely going to be healed and heal in your balance and in your forces okay so this is going to be god for the people 
who were born on um the uh, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, the fifth of December, you're ending and removing something out of your life that no longer um, serve you. It could be that you're selling a house. It could be that you're selling a car. It could be, but something with um, a, a huge significance uh, um, that is affecting your life that you're releasing. So it could be a car, a house, properties, that sort of a thing. The energy of the lovers is here and you could be ending a relationship with a partnership. You could be taking this down. You could be ending this from in the beginning. Whatever the issue is, I'm seeing an end that is coming in in this situation okay whatever that is transpiring i'm definitely seeing a hand that is coming up in the situation so whatever is there so then we have the energy of the star whatever the energy of the star is i'm seeing a transition that is transpiring and happening and whatever this transition is that is transpiring happening i'm seeing the energy of the star this is good this is positive whatever the issue is and the situation is this is good and this is positive i'm seeing justice coming up for the people who were born on the eight i'm seeing money is going to be coming in um for you guys in this year money unexpected money is going to be coming in I'm seeing some of you could be starting your own business, whatever the issue is in situation. I'm seeing starting your own business is going to be a successful. Okay. Um, because you guys are from the eight. Ooh, a message came out here for someone. I'm seeing the energy of the hangman for some of you ladies that were waiting. Some of you ladies that was in a position where you were waiting to get pregnant or that sort of a thing. I'm seeing a message with the hangman. Okay. So I'm seeing the energy of the night, the night, the flamingo, the night of uh, um, a young person. This could be a young person. Some of you could be in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion. It's coming up as a cancer. I'm seeing this person in the reverse. Okay. So if you're in a relationship with a cancer, um, it could be a twin flame or a soulmate, but this person is really in the reverse. Then I'm seeing communication. Some of you need to communicate clearly what exactly is happening. Okay. I'm seeing you communicate against this um, cancer, whoever this cancer, whatever this person have done. I'm seeing communication. I'm seeing some of you standing back. The king of the flamingo is here. Whoever this king of this flamingo is, um, whoever this king of this flamingo is, I'm seeing no communication. I'm seeing a new start. Now, some of you could be dealing with an, um, uh, who is that now? An Aquarius. Um, and I see that some of you, um, the king, um, uh, this person could want a new start with some of you. Okay. Cause it's a collective reading. Cause remember it's a collective reading. It's definitely a collective reading. So I'm seeing money is going to be coming in. Okay. I'm seeing whatever that was blocking your financial stability. Um, uh, money is going to be coming in. So that is good to know. I'm seeing your burdens are going to be over um, in this year for you guys. It's a collective reading. If you'd like a personalized reading or a birthday reading, please connect with me. Remember that these readings are general readings, okay? So it's a collective from the ninth until the five. I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles. You, um, uh, Some of you could be dealing with the Knight of Pentacles and your burdens are over. Whoever this Knight of Pentacles is, this young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person, um, you could be finding out that they could have been in a relationship with a cancer, and this is going to be healing, okay? Then I'm seeing the Five of Swords. I'm seeing some of you just walking away from a deceptive situation with this person. Whoever this person is, this Knight of, um, this Knight of Pentacles, I'm seeing you turning your back and justice prevail and you're walking away from whatever this deceptive situation is okay i'm seeing definitely you're going to be coming out on top okay definitely look at this um you're going to be coming out on top whatever is happening whatever decision you make about selling something or doing something it is the right decision okay whatever decision you're going to be making about 
releasing something out of your life a house a car whatever it's going to be the right thing I'm saying that some of you are going to decide to remove away from a situation um, letting go a situation leaving something behind you because it's no longer serving you so you're going to decide hey I'm leaving this behind me because it no longer serves me I'm going to be moving forward in my life and I'm going to be taking a new journey okay definitely I see you're leaving something behind um, whoever this um, this situation some of you um, young people between the age of 18 and 45 um, could be dealing with um, a Pisces um, whoever the Pisces is some of you could be connecting with the Pisces um, in a relationship or you could have been in a relationship with the Pisces and you're letting this go because you're realizing that it has caused you a lot of burden I'm seeing the Knight of Cups is coming in and offering love okay I'm seeing the Knight of Cups coming in and offering love to whatever uh, injustice uh, that has been transpired and that has transpired with you I'm seeing this person coming in and offering you love the eight of ones I'm seeing a lot of information is going to be coming into you um, with the energy of this eight of ones I'm seeing justice I'm seeing a lot of information I'm seeing balancing coming up with um, the energy of this king and this um, person this is the night um, the night of ads okay this is the energy of the night of ads so I'm really really loving your reading whatever is happening and transpiring what is um, actually happening is that um, some of you are definitely releasing burdens some of you who are in limbo waiting um, to get pregnant it's gonna be happening in this year but I'm saying it's a year of um, a lot of you just releasing burdens out of your life I'm saying yes if you need to release something or someone if you need to sell something or get rid of something it's a yes go ahead and do it sometimes we hold on on a house property or that sort of a thing you don't really need it you don't want to have anything to do with it it's a yes um, it's definitely a yes um, release um, this situation and get the money and just save the money okay so I see you really selling some property a house a car whatever it is I'm seeing money coming in and with this money I'm seeing you moving forward and this is going to be good the limbo state is out your burdens are over I'm seeing you moving in your life moving in a positive direction in your life and this is this is very good because you have choose to turn your back to whatever in and in, injustice and deceptive situation that has transpired okay I'm seeing unexpected information secrets that was kept by this young person Taurus Virgo Capricorn is going to be coming out and there is going to be an healing that is going to be coming in okay there is definitely an healing that is going to be coming in so whatever deceptiveness or whatever that has transpired and whatever that was happening I'm seeing definitely a healing is coming in okay unexpected information came out about this person and uh, um, some of you could um, have been in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and then you realize that they were seeing a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn you can see this but the Elin is going to be coming in okay a Elin is definitely going to be coming in then we see communication needs to be there I see communication needs to be there whatever you need to communicate communication is going to be coming through and I'm seeing the eight of ones whatever did the deceptiveness that was going on and has transpired the energy of the eight of ones okay so lies deceitfulness and deceptiveness so I'm seeing a new start um, is going to be coming up a new start um, it's going to be coming up if you're in a relationship um, this could be a father figure and a new start between you and your father and your siblings could be coming up for some of you so if your father takes on the energy of an Aries Leo or Sagittarius I am seeing a new healing that is coming up for you and your father or uh, and your siblings okay 
I'm seeing communication needs to be there, ladies and gentlemen, whatever is happening, communication needs to be there. Whatever the situation is, the issue is, and communication is the key in this coming up here. It's not too late to order birthday readings. It's very good. What I'm seeing is that um, I'm seeing that situations is coming out, okay? I'm seeing the energy of situation is coming out. The wheel of fortune is going to be here for you guys. Okay. So there is a situation with the organization. The truth is coming out and I am seeing the wheel of fortune coming up for you guys. So this is going to be good. Alrighty. So I love your reading so far, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to ice you a little bit higher. Um, so you guys can see the card. And remember, I apologize for yeah. I can't. I, it's my it's it's, it's my um. I apologize for my voice, but I can't do any better because um. I have to be definitely. I can't do any better because I have to be definitely getting um. The situation under control. Okay. Um, so, um, I got a lot to do. So, um, if you would want to have a birthday reading, I think that this would be all right. Yeah, this is much better, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, this is much better. So, if you'd like to have a birthday reading, please, um, order your birthday reading. It's never too late because, um, um, you're still just starting a new zodiac, okay? It's never too late. You're still just starting a new a zodiac. Okay. I really love you guys. I love you, Ophiosis. Um, whatever is happening, you gotta be aware. Um, just leave people and situation deceptive, um, people and situation behind you, okay? Just don't focus on these people, just leave the deceptive situation behind you. What is the message for the people that is having birthday December 2nd until 8? December 2nd until 8. December 2nd until 8. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a good year. It's as if you're just clearing up issues with past life, love, properties, um, business, cars. You're changing cars. It's a good time to change cars. Secrets is coming out. New start. I'm seeing justice, balance, news is coming in. That sort of a thing. I'm seeing positive alignment of energies. So we're calling up on pure light beams. God and goddesses here. Seeing the angels, Archangel Michael, all the pure light beams, universal angels and guides. Please show us what is coming up for. Oh my God, your wishes are granted. Bam. <laughs> oh. Oh my God, your wishes is going to be granted. Oh my God, congratulations. Congratulations and revelations. Congratulations, congratulations. I was I wanted to use another deck, but I'm not gonna use that deck because I think that the magical, I'm sorry, I, I, I just love, whatever that you guys good it has to be good it has to be something for yourself and it has to be good whatever that you just hope and wish for um your wishes is going to be granted it says your wish is granted what um what you're asking for is coming true so if you guys have some wish and dream that you wanted so much to manifest in your life that you're coming out of a time where um, all the, the hardship is behind you. It's going to be happening, okay? It's going to be happening. The law of attraction, what is um, the people who are having birthday December 2nd until 8th? Law of attraction. Law of attraction, what is happening? 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 Uh, friendships. Friendships. So friendships is going to be very important for you guys. And it says special friends are there to help 
you and bring you strength during difficult times. Okay, friendship, friendship. So whatever the issue is that is coming up in this year, I'm seeing um, people are going to be there helping you and supporting you through difficult times. And this is going to be good. Okay. I really, really love you guys. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpired, I do love you guys. This is the first week of December. I so really love December, whatever is happening and transpiring. I so really love the month of December because December is just such a positive focus month. It's not too late to order your birthday readings. Ladies and gentlemen, another thing I'd like to say to you is that um, I want to so thank you so much um, um, for this support. And uh, YouTube has made changes and basically... I think the changes is good because um, I always upload my videos in YouTube and what is happening and what is transpiring is that as I upload my videos in YouTube, what is um, happening is that instead of you go on my website, you can just order your abundant from YouTube and then you can just watch all the videos because I do a lot of extended readings that you guys are not aware of. And I want everyone to have, um, I got my gift to share with the world. And I want everyone to be able and capable of just paying um, a monthly subscription. Now, the first subscription is $1.99. And with $1.99, you only get the extended readings for the month and you can um, connect with us in chats and that sort of a thing. But if you take the $4.99, you get the monthly readings, you get love extended readings, you get all these expanded readings, perks and all things, giveaways and that sort of a thing. You're always. And I think that this is where the future is going and YouTube is rolling this out. So I would appreciate it. $4.99 is the same thing you would have paid for three of my readings. So please subscribe to my channel via YouTube. Join the community. Um, there is a join, subscribe and join button. Use the join button. It's $4.99. Take the $4.99 because there's so much. You can also get, um, pull a card. You can have a personal time with me. You can just mail in the time when you want to be connected via YouTube. And you have personal times with me where I will pull a card and I will discuss whatever um, the question that you want to answer. So the $4.99, I think the $4.99 is just going to be so much better for you guys. I love you guys so much. Please like and share these videos. I'm trying to get back to normal. Um, I bought a honey for 43 euros. <laughs> um, actually, um. It works a little bit. My voice is coming back. I love you. Namaste until next time.